Well, hello there, curl friends and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. And this, if this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to see what interesting, wonderful things I have to say. And I hope you will subscribe and also click that notification button right next to the subscribe button. There's a little bell there. And if you click on that, you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. And for those of you who have been faithfully following me through my hair journey over this past year and uh, five months, thank you so much for your patience. And it's been a heck of a ride, hasn't it? So I just want to talk to you today and give you an update about uh, the homemade gel that I made uh, or the modification of a gel that I made. And I will get right into that in just a minute. So if you're interested in hearing that and knowing what I did and all that, just hang in there and stay with me and I will be right back. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I wanted to give you an update on how my homemade modified Eco Styler gel turned out. So um, if you want to see how I did this, you can click on the link below. I'll leave it in the description box below and you can see how I made this uh, gel here. This is what it looks like. This is a couple of days later. Uh, I have left it sitting out because I wanted to know how it would uh, respond to room temperature and all that. It seems to be doing fine, smells good, smells great, smells like cinnamon, which is what I put in it. And um, if you want to know how I did that, just uh, click on the link below. I will leave it below so that you can see. But I wanted to show you how my hair turned out. Now, usually I have my hair in two strand twists. And uh, after I made this gel, I put my hair in about... 25 uh, Bantu knots and this is how it turned out it's very tight it's very curly it's very tight this is a number 10 hold eco styler the one in the green that says alcohol free with olive oil is a number 10 hold I think it's the strongest that they have so if you don't want your um, curls to be tight then you may want to wait until your hair is partially dry and use very, very little of it or get one of their other products that does not have such a firm hold. Um, my hair is low density and is very fine and it has very little curl pattern. I'm going to try to work on bringing my curl pattern uh, alive into the forefront. And uh, I saw some tips on YouTube about how to make that happen. Now, some women they really don't really necessarily have a curl pattern. Some women, their natural hair is straight. Your hair doesn't have to be afro to be natural. Your natural hair is, is your hair that you have not modified with chemicals or colors or, or, any, or heat or anything like that. That's your natural hair. Now, you can alter it uh, somehow and make it better or more presentable, whatever you want to call it. But your natural hair does not have to be black hair, quote unquote. OK, so I wanted to give you an update on this and um, let me know if you made this or if you've made your own, please uh, email me and uh, I leave the uh, email address at the bottom and or give me your gel story. I'll be happy to read it. If it's not too long. Don't let it be longer than a page, please. And I will read your story on my channel and uh, give you credit for that. So and um We'll see where that goes. But anyway, I wanted to give you an update about the gel and how my hair turned out. And as you can see, it's really tight, girls. Very tight. And um, I don't know if I need to modify that or not, but we'll see. All right. So thank you for coming by. And um, I will see you the next time. And maybe, maybe, maybe you'll recommend my channel to a friend. I hope you will. I'll see you next time. Bye. Keep it natural.